the Abrams in Warthner. The M1A1 is as American as Bald Eagles and that horrible watered down stuff that you guys call beer. Seriously, when you guys chucked the British tea into the harbour, are you sure you didn't chuck the recipe for beer as well? Alright there, buddy, calm down. Yingling is pretty good here. But where Europeans are good at exporting alcohol, the USA is better at exporting their war machines. Meet the Australian M1A1 AIM. Oh, fuck. Steve, did we record this whole thing upside down? No, that's not how Australia works. This is going to be a pain to edit. Anyway, good day, Mr. Abrams. Are you ready to tell the viewers just how good you are compared to the normal Abrams? Bonza, first off, the best they're most fitted to an Abrams currently in the game. I mean, just look at these things. Super crispy in comparison to this. Seriously, these ones on the M1A1 are disgusting. Disgusting! And that's not all. This thing gets access to the KEW shell, giving it almost 600mm of pin. Watch this. Just don't expect it to work on Russian MBTs. Right, Australia Bums, wanna do a kill montage? Then we'll tell them about your best feature of all. So let's go. Better. That oh, was weird, I got a crit and then the kill. That guy's breaches out now. I'm gonna keep moving here, cause... I uh, had much rather position over kills. Okay. Not, definitely not the wisest fire my machine guns like that while there's enemies in front of me. And I'm going to end up with a, uh, yeah, enemy in that spawn. Horizontal only. What is happening here? Right, I, I'm gonna leave that for now. We'll come back to that later. Ah, Leo 2K didn't okay here. There's another one, another Leo 2K. Didn't know. Terrible hit. Okay. This is bad. Drive our track horizontal. Good, and one more. Two more. Ignore that guy for now. A little bit laggy, dude. Okay, we bounced it. Thank you very much, Tarajik. Oh my god, this track bug. And even though this thing is very good at killing, the best feature is this. The M1A1 aim is free. That's right, you can get this thing just by grinding out squadron points and pick it up for free, even though it'll take you quite a few months. But for a vehicle that's just as good, if not better, than the 11.0 M1A2, this is an absolute bargain to pick up. And of course, if you don't want to pick it up for free, you can just buy it with Golden Eagles, grind your way up to the KEW shell, and you've got yourself a top tier vehicle very quickly. But how good is it really? Let's take it into a few more games to find out. Okay, just check out this blind French boy down here. Was that the clear? It sure is odd boys. Let's see how this thing can handle off road and check out its mobility. He has no idea, thankfully. Wait. Back up the hill before that guy comes back in a Leo 285 or another 286. Just heard smoke getting deployed. That's a Tunguska, right? And that is not. Man, the driver is just not good enough. Okay, Tunguska's dead. I think that's a 3 4. 3 4. What is he looking exactly? Right, good stuff. I don't think he wants to play. I just realized that guy wasn't dead. 
good. I just stay where I am. Good strong position, but I can't really do anything from here, like react to stuff. But another guy coming. Absolutely thundering towards us. Good. To answer the question how good is this tank, the answer is very, but not without its shortcomings. Because when it comes to facing Russian tanks in close quarters, things don't turn out so good. I've seen XM1s and stuff here. Engine driver, radiator, fuel tank, not a lot of shrapnel in from the kick W shell, it would seem. We got some guys pushing here now too. Can I catch this XM? I certainly can. Yo, my breach. Somebody's to my right. Got my barrel, which is not good. And I don't have anyone else up here. Ah, we are dead, dude. So I'm not gonna get this fire out in time. If only he didn't hit my barrel. Been stuffed. This reverse speed. Am I getting hit with pose? There comes the turns. Wait, what on earth is going on over here? I've got a small window of opportunity on this guy. Got our vertical drive, right? Good. That guy took no damage at all, somehow. How are you still functional? Again. Two. Three. We'll take a track for now. That is not good. Not terrible either though. We'll take a gunner loader. Uh, okay. What? Where is my shrapnel? Where's my shrapnel, guys? And my teammate just slammed into me. That guy had made some mistakes, dude. Ouch. Ready, our fuel tanks no good. <laughs> but that doesn't mean this Abrams can't brawl. Hope you guys enjoy the next few minutes where we shred the enemy in close quarters. Are you are these guys gonna come along here or what? I missed worse than he did. Right. I'm getting off of here. That did nothing. My teammates are getting absolutely farmed. Ow. Still alive somehow. On my right side. Still somebody in here. Ugh, that sucked, but we're okay. This is bad. But he doesn't see me yet, so come on, fix, 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 fix. Where's this PMP as well? Is that the Swedish? Oh, it's a striker. And a beagle. Chinese tank there in the corner. Which means I can no longer push this beagle. Oh, hey. Got his driver. I knew 
Yeah, you can defend me, so. Do or die on this Chinese guy, right? Got him. Nice. Smoke up. Right, is there nothing coming from my left? No. A guy with a Z on his tank. Why did you stop the fire? I hope you die here. Good. That's a lot of damage from here. Good. Right. I'm worried about my left side. But not too worried. Ow. Oh, you're in here. You are certainly dead. Why Gaijin added this thing at this VR as a free tank or one that you can GE, I'll never know. Uh, that's the sound of a cash register going off in the background. And while this is not a good purchase for a newer player, it's certainly a very good tank to take the top tier as a backup for the M1A2 or even as your first spawn. If you are going to pick this thing up for GE, please use my creator code in the description and the pinned comment. It'll get you 3% off your GE. Don't pay full price. Uh, in fact, if you are new to this game, just don't buy this thing straight up. You'll have a horrible time. As is customary, here is the stats for this vehicle. I'm actually surprised at the win ratio, but I did play with USSR about 40% of the games that I did play. Uh, quite a good KD for me at top tier. I'm not that good at it. Of course, my win ratio would have been a little bit higher should I took a full lineup rather than just this thing with some backups. But there's no doubt about it, this is one of the best top tier tanks in War Thunder currently. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. There's going to be a video every day this week, so make sure you don't miss that. As always, a huge thank you to all the supporters over on Discord and Patreon, no matter what tier you are. And a shout out to all the tier 3s that are over there. That's Toast McGee, Gigi Bra, Frost, Bofe, Calvino, Destare, Gifted Greed, Jamie, Marushin, Stoyan, Terabad, thank you very much. The Reformation, The Witch Doctor as well, thank you very much. There's two new guys. And to the tier 3s on Patreon, that's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Bilka the Tactical Broccoli, Eric Fear, Jesse Mills, Witch Doctor, Witch Doctor, sorry, thank you very much. Uh, Paul Wendrick as well, thank you. Is the Taco Guy, Watermelon, Understormwind, Archangel Ari. Brahma Nation, Sexy, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Gifted Greed, Handsome Tortilla, Kin the Salt Lord, Oil Metany, Pickle Pirate, Ralph, Rage, Tectonic, The Reformation, Trash Panda, TV2000, Atomic, Varian, Warpig, Shaft, Elysia, Mortanen, Stoyan, this is totally my name, thank you, uh, Jay Tormey, David Collings, thank you again dude, uh, and Shmoo, and to everyone still watching, thank you very much for watching, much love, I'll see you on the next one, bye bye.